Oh, let's just draw it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another fairy video on the channel. Now I know what you're thinking, wait, this isn't the 10k special, or Little Nightmares, or Very Little Nightmares, what's going on? Well, as I mentioned before, we are trying to tackle new games, and I thought I'd go ahead and do that today. Now this doesn't mean I won't be doing theories on Little Nightmares and stuff again, because of course I will. And also the 10k is coming up, sorry everyone in the Discord. But with that aside, today we are going to talk about a new game that has recently surfaced, and quite quietly too. For those of you who don't know, the game I am referring to is Dauntless. Dauntless is a free-to-play action role-playing video game developed by Phoenix Labs and published by Epic Games. Basically, in short, it looks like Fortnite, plays like Monster Hunter World, oh and did I mention it was free? But in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the characters within the game. Tressa Froller. Now that name's a bit of a funny one to say, so I apologize if anyone actually is called Tressa Froller because I, I don't know why it's playing with me. Now, I know what you're thinking, who is Tressa Froller? As she isn't really a main focus in the Ramsgate and thus she doesn't talk or give you quests. But you can see her name plate in the Ramsgate. So she must do something, right? Well, at the moment, no. But I imagine in the future she will. And the reason why you can't go near her or inspect her is because of a hidden collider. Well, not so hidden, as they try to cover it with tables and chairs, but we can see there are slayers inside having some nice beer refreshments, so why can't we? But I think it's safe to assume that there is more than meets the eye with Tressa Froller. Even though at the moment she doesn't have any dialogue or interaction, she plays an important part in the lore of the game, and she plays a specific role with Katrina Sorrell. I plan on speaking more in depth about Katrina in another video where we explain more about her and her history of the Ramsgate, but for now we will focus on Tressa. So what's important about Tressa and what does she even do and why does she even have a place at the Ramsgate? Well this is where it gets interesting. So we can use the information that's included in the Dauntless Wiki page. Tressa Froller was in fact interested in biographical research, but only in a certain person, and this was Katrine. This means that Tressa Froller would have followed Kat throughout her days before the current game's timeline that we're in, and so she would have documented all non-numerical data of these events and what they did. We know this to be true, as we can see from her previous entries, for example, here is an entry from one of her studies titled Fire and Fury. The following report was collected by Ramsgate Harbour Master, Tressa Froller, as part of her biographical studies of Katrine Sorrell. The scouts had assured us the island was ripe for settlement, fertile soil, ample lumber, and ore. A for vents of rare purity and no large predators. That last clue should have been our first clue. Now this information tells us that they planned on trying to settle in the Burning Rose, but it did not turn out well as we see in the entry title The Burning Rage, and it goes as follows. I reached the transport just before takeoff. As we took to the sky, I spared another look back. Kat's team had the behemoth surrounded, but the beast wasn't backing down. To my horror, the ember main erupted with a blazing power, opened its maw to roar a blast of flame at Kat herself. I do not know yet if she survived, but I owe her my life. And as a warning to others, beware the fiery wrath of the ember main. Now with that being said, we can confirm they must have got away and that they did both settle down in Ramsgate and become who we now know. But only time will tell what kind of part Tressa Froller will play in the future. Another interesting note is that at the time of Tressa Froller recording her data entries, she was at the beginning given the name Harbour Master. Now you would be right to assume that with that title before she must have been in charge of more than just a tavern. We can confirm that from the first report that she was in fact the Ramsgate Harbour Master. So what changed? How could she have lost that role or did she even lose it? But that's a topic for another video. But I would like to thank you all for watching this video and remember if you like the video or if you want to share your ideas drop a comment below. And remember to hit subscribe if you want to support the channel and if you want to see more content related to Dauntless and many other content surrounding other different games such as Little Nightmares and things like Inside Limbo, stuff like that. 
But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for watching today's video, and I will see you all in the next theory video.